Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther and today we're gonna check it out some Pantone Connect alternatives that are way cheaper or for free or you can get similar Pantone colors or convert RGB to Pantone. All right, so as a reference, I'm gonna use these three colors. They already are converted from RGB into Pantone Connect. In Pantone colors, you can see these. They already got the codes, and now we're gonna check out some alternative to see how those colors are going to look and uh, what are basically what codes they're going to get. Also, if you wanna know how to install Pantone Connect, all you need to do is click on the pop-up banner in the right corner to check out that tutorial also. So the first alternative would be Affinity Design. Now this software has all the Pantone colors. It cannot convert RGB to Pantone, but I'm gonna show you where you can find them. All you need to do is go to the swatches, go to the gradients here, where this little bar is, and here we got all the Pantones. I gotta go here to the Pantone Color Bridge Coated V4. And here we have all the Pantones. Okay, I gotta go back to Illustrator. So what we have here, these are the RGB colors and we're, what we see here, these are the Pantone color converted. So I gotta click on these three dots. I gotta click on full screen and I gotta screenshot this. Control V and I gotta copy paste it into Illustrator and this is the RGB and this one is the Pantone. There's a slight, slight difference. Now what I'm gonna do is I gotta go to Affinity Design and type in this color code, 2091C. I gotta go here to the search bar, 2091. I gotta create a rectangle and I'm gonna recolor it to this Pantone color. Control C, gotta go back to Illustrator, Control V. So this is how it looks, the Affinity Pantone color. So what we have here, the first one is RGB, second one is the Pantone Connect, third one is Affinity Designer Pantone colors, and now we're gonna check out another one. So here we have a website called coderstools.com RGB line Pantone. So this is basically gonna convert RGB to Pantone. So check this out. I gotta go to Illustrator, click on the RGB because this is the RGB. I gotta double click here to the fill color and I gotta copy paste the hex code, control C, go back to the website and here we have this little uh, select a color and I gotta copy paste here, control V, enter. And it's gonna select the color. And here we have violet C and medium purple C. You also can change it, the distance. We got 32, 48, and it's gonna show more colors. Let me go with 64. And basically here it's going to show you similar color options. Now, unfortunately, this won't show the 2091C, but it is going to show some other alternatives. So I'm gonna copy paste, for example, the violet C and go back to Illustrator, Control V, and I'm gonna scale it up. This is another nuance. Now we got also another thing here. I'm gonna go with shades. And here we is gonna show you other alternatives as well, like on the website did. But again, this one is going to pull off the different color nuances. All right, so here we have the final conclusion. We got the first panel is the RGB. And the first one is from the Pantone Connect, second Coders Tools, and the, and the third one is the Affinity. Of course, the Pantone Connect is the most accurate. And then we got like the CodersTool.com, which is totally for free. And then we got Affinity, which I think it was like 50 bucks or something like that. Now the final verdict is going to be, of course, when it's printed, then you're gonna see the final results, like how actually it's gonna look. Now it also depends on the monitor, if it's calibrated or not calibrated. Every, each monitor is like different. It needs to be calibrated. And again, the first one basically from the Pantone would be the most accurate and coderstool.com also does it really, really good. The most important thing here is uh, the Pantone color is basically when it's printed, it looks really, really similar to the RGB, original RGB color. And it seems like the Pantone Connect does it pretty good. I mean, the Pantone Connect can search most accurately the right uh, color nuances and color codes. I thought Affinity gonna be better or this website, but um, hmm, seems like Pantone Connect wins. So this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.